I'm up here doing something that nobody else in this business has the balls to do. I'm telling you something that you need to know. I'm trying to explain to you what you're seeing. You don't understand what you're seeing. Jamie Foxx allegedly had a meltdown on the London set of their highly anticipated film, Causing Chaos. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. Dave Chappelle is once again exposing the entertainment industry, and he apparently believes that Hollywood elites want to destroy Jamie Foxx's career because he refused to be controlled. Because this industry is a monster. It's been a whole month since Jamie Foxx was hospitalized following a mysterious medical complication, and we still don't know if he'll be able to make a full recovery. Multiple conspiracy theories have popped up online over the past few weeks, from people accusing Jamie of being on drugs to others saying someone tried to kill him. Well, Dave Chappelle also has a theory about this, and he reportedly thinks that Hollywood bosses are trying to ruin Jamie's career, the same way they tried it with him when he broke free from their control. This happened many, many times since, when someone would intimidate me or scare me and take something that I believe is mine. Ever since news broke last month that Jamie Foxx was hospitalized in Atlanta, there's been a lot of contradictory reports in the media about his condition. TMZ first claimed that Jamie's situation was so serious that his entire family flew in to be by his side. It was bad. Bad enough that family members from out of, outside of Atlanta, there were some in Atlanta, but family members from outside flew in and rushed to the hospital to be by his side. However, later that same day, Jamie's daughter Corinne shared a message on Instagram saying that Jamie was already on his way to recovery. But Corinne has now deleted this post, and multiple sources recently reported that Jamie's condition took a turn for the worse. A source exclusively told Radar Online that the situation was much more serious than initially reported, and that Jamie had to be resuscitated. He had to be revived. He is very lucky to be alive, the source said. And what's strange is that Jamie's family asked for privacy. However, over the past few weeks, multiple celebs started sharing tributes to Jamie on social media and giving updates on Jamie's condition. Just days before Radar Online reported that Jamie had to be revived, Nick Cannon told ET that Jamie was awake and alert. It's a beautiful thing. He's awake. He's he's uh, and you know they say he's alert, so we love it. All right, that's great. That is good. To that's hear. family. That's family right there. Kevin Hart also recently talked about Jamie's condition and claimed that Jamie is getting better. The dope thing is that he's getting better. I don't know the details uh, or the exact details as to what's going on, but to my knowledge is there is a, a lot of progression and the world a better man. So, you know, my love, uh, synergy, energy goes out to him. However, Jamie's longtime friend, Charlie Mack, shared a different update, and he posted a message on Instagram asking God for a miracle and begging fans to pray for Jamie. Meanwhile, disturbing reports also popped up on social media that police visited Jamie in the hospital and that he told them that someone tried to kill him. All this has left fans wondering about the reality of Jamie's situation, and many of them think it's strange how the family asked for privacy, and yet all these celebs are constantly giving vague and contradictory updates about Jamie's condition. What's also unusual is that just one day after Charlie Mack begged fans to pray for Jamie and asked for a miracle, Jamie's official Instagram account shared a post that read, Appreciate all the love, feeling blessed. However, fans thought the timing of this post was strange, and they expressed doubt that Jamie personally wrote this message. Besides that, news recently broke that Jamie had been replaced on multiple projects, leaving fans to wonder if this means he'll not be coming back to work anytime soon. Just days after Jamie was hospitalized, the director of the upcoming comedy, Back in Action, replaced Jamie with his stunt double. And then last week, it was revealed that Jamie and his daughter Corinne have been replaced by Nick Cannon and Kelly Osbourne on the game show Beat Shazam. And this is why fans are now speculating that the industry is sabotaging Jamie's career on purpose. And even if reports about someone trying to kill Jamie are false, fans are saying it's very possible that Hollywood bosses are using this situation to destroy Jamie's career. Now, you may be wondering, why would anyone want to ruin Jamie's career when he makes a lot of money for a lot of people? Well, Dave Chappelle might have an answer to this because he knows from first-hand experience what happens to Hollywood stars who refuse to play by the industry rules. Back in 2005, Dave suddenly left the production of Chappelle Show and fled to South Africa without telling anyone. And as soon as he left, the tabloids started speculating about his mental health and accused him of being a drug addict. However, Dave denied this and told Time Magazine at the time, I'm not crazy, I'm not smoking crack, I'm definitely stressed out. 
Dave also explained that there were things that overwhelmed him, but not in the way that people are saying. Meanwhile, news broke that a few months before he fled to Africa, Dave turned down a $50 million contract from Comedy Central. This news gave the tabloids more reason to call Dave crazy. However, when Dave returned from Africa the following year and appeared on The Oprah Show, he explained that he didn't turn down the money, but rather certain conditions that came with it. Everybody wants to know, why'd you walk away from $50 million? Well, I wasn't walking away from the money. Yeah. I was walking away from the circumstances uh -huh. that, that were coming with the newfound plateau. Yeah. It takes a while when you punch through uh, to adjust to the atmosphere. Dave told Oprah that he had heard stories about what happens to celebrities when they sign a lucrative contract to get to that next level of fame, and also what can happen when celebs like Martin Lawrence say no to these contracts. I've been in show business since I was 14, and uh, I've heard the stories mm -hmm. of what happens, and I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. Okay. When, I saw when you say you heard the stories, what do you mean? What stories? I mean, you see before, look, Mariah Carey made a $100 million deal and three months later, she's all of a sudden mysteriously crazy. Or Martin Lawrence punches through and he's waving a gun on the street screaming, they're trying to kill me. Yeah. That same year, Dave also appeared on Inside the Actors Studio, and he once again brought up Martin's infamous 1996 breakdown, claiming that the industry tried to paint Martin as crazy because he refused to be controlled by the sick Hollywood environment. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me. Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. Ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person. So they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. And during his recent stand-up show, Dave again talked about corporate control within Hollywood, calling the industry a monster and saying that no matter who you work for, you'll always be trapped. When I quit the show, all my friends would say, well, the f them, Dave. Why don't you just do Chappelle's show at another network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why doesn't a slave run from one plantation to another plantation because the master over there might be nicer? I've even thought about coming back and doing another Chappelle show. Well, but if I do, I can't call it Chappelle show because my name and likeness is being used by them in perpetuity throughout the universe. It's in the contract. Now, as for Jamie Foxx, reports recently emerged that Dave is worried the same thing that happened to him, Martin Lawrence, Kanye, and many others is now happening to Jamie because he tried to take control of his career shortly before his medical emergency. See, back in 2020, Jamie finished working on his directorial debut, All Star Weekend, and the movie was supposed to come out in the summer of 2021. However, in August 2022, news broke that All Star Weekend was indefinitely shelved due to casting issues. However, this explanation didn't really make sense because by that point, the movie was already in post-production. But then, Jamie hinted in an interview with Cinema Blend that someone was trying to block his movie because he had crossed some line with his jokes and refused to remove certain scenes from the movie. It's been tough with the lay of the land of comedy, Jamie said. We're trying to break open those sensitive corners where people go back to laughing again. Basically, it sounds like Jamie was trying to take more creative control over his career, and he said no to some important people who then decided to block his movie. And based on what Dave Chappelle told us about the industry, it's very possible that these people are now trying to destroy Jamie's career and punish him for trying to break free from their control. One fan commented, they tried to mess up Kanye and destroy him. Kanye wasn't playing. They tried to mess up Dave Chappelle and say he was crazy. He also broke free. The whole situation is just odd. And another fan wrote, something has gone on for a very long time in Hollywood, going all the way back to Sam Cooke, mysteriously unalived after putting together his own studio. So many outstanding artists are gone, but old crusty music and entertainment company executives creep around forever. But how do you feel about Dave Chappelle's theory on the sick Hollywood industry? Do you think industry higher-ups are trying to destroy Jamie's career because he refused to be controlled? 